What's up dudes, Max here, and I wanted to talk about something that is absolutely incredible that happened over the past week or so. In light of something that was uh, extremely sad, as a quick update, this is kind of in regards to something that I've kind of done a few times before. Uh, we've had these unique charity streams. We did one for Ralph, who was the owner of Family Fun Arcade for 40 years, uh, who came down with some issues of cancer and dealing with his, with his cancer. And we raised quite a bit of money for him during his last final days of hosting the arcade. There was also Pusha T, who uh, was an avid Killer Instinct community member and someone that I knew through every single pre-event of KI coming out. And uh, he sadly passed away a couple years ago. And um, we held a charity stream for him as well. And this is in regards to something pretty similar that's happened to another community member that you might know by the name of Rotendo. Um, Rodolfo is an extremely nice guy. I haven't had the chance to actually sit down and talk with him a whole bunch, but the random few occasions I have run into him at Evos and stuff like that has been because he's been an avid community member amongst the fighting game community, and he's done a whole bunch of stuff between like helping out with Evo and being a huge, a huge part of the Killer Instinct community. Just an overall great guy and really nice dude. And for you guys that know me, I haven't done a lot of stuff with big charity organizations. If there's ever an opportunity to do something with a charity, it's usually for an individual or a like one specific person or their family because you feel the impact that you can have as a community like you or me or anybody watching that if they want to do something, that individual's like unique thing they do has a bigger impact on one person rather than like a company that you're giving money to. It doesn't mean that charity organization companies are bad, it's just that I prefer doing it this way because I feel like we are doing something really good for at least this one individual or their family. Sadly, uh, Rodolfo recently came and told us that uh, over last week, his wife passed away and they were a family with three children and uh, one was born not even that long ago. And there's something I don't, I don't feel the internet experiences a lot and it might just be, be because there's so many people and it's like empathy, but I completely empathize with Rodolfo in this situation. I completely empathize, empathize with Ralph a few years ago and the family of Pusha T who we raised a few thousand dollars for. And that's what inspired me to do something for him in this situation because I could not imagine what he would have to go through considering the fact that his wife had quite a few medical issues and left many medical expenses, even with her passing away as well as funeral costs. And he made a GoFundMe for it simply because he has to raise his three children alone now. And that feeling was absolutely heart crushing because I put myself in his shoes and knowing that he pretty much just lost his best friend and has their children to take care of now, I, I felt I had to do something. So what's amazing that came as a result of this, which is an extremely sad situation, is the amazing generosity of the audience that we have here on YouTube and Twitch. And a few days ago, we hosted a charity stream specifically for Rodolfo and his kids where any single donation that went through on that stream, I would then forward to his GoFundMe account to pay for the expenses of his wife's funeral and hopeful uh, medical charges so that at least what they are dealing with isn't, isn't going to be stacked on top of these other issues. And then also considering that you'd have to deal with the medical expenses as well as all this other stuff, I at least wanted to help out in that way. The truly amazing thing that happened as a result of all this was that in the three to four hours I streamed, there was a contribution of over $9,000 for him and his family that came only from the community. You guys, yeah, literally this chat room along with my contribution bonus from all you guys and my initial donation, which was 500 bucks, this chat room in the span of an hour and a half or so has completely funded his wife's funeral. Okay, so like I said, all the donations from tonight, that already happened, are going to be going to Rotendo. Uh, the passing of his wife, the covering those costs, and the medical costs. Leading up for his family. He has three kids, and this is what we're going to be giving him. And at the beginning of that, I sent out like a challenge that I would be personally donating 500 bucks for myself. And for any single person that donated, I would be putting in five bucks per donation. And at the end of the night, there was over 300 donations. And I wasn't expecting everyone to get that crazy, but I was absolutely committed to doing this because it is something that I feel we could change someone's life. And it totally happened. So at the end of the night, 
we donated a total of 11,000 plus dollars to the GoFundMe to support him and his family. We are, uh, whew, you're making me nervous now, guys. I'm gonna hold, I'm holding my word. I'm holding my word. But as of right now, there's almost 300 individual donations that went through tonight, and I'd said I put five bucks in for each one of those. And Cyphered, thank you, dude. So, whoo! Woof! Woof! It's a very generous night. It's a very generous night. Thank you, guys. I know some of you guys might not even know who he is. He's not a huge member that is on, like, the front of spotlights absolutely everywhere, but these are people that are amongst the fighting game community that, that are, like, the heart of it. These are the people that care a lot about the things that happen within fighting games and the people that like them just as much as I do. And I, I truly feel that between everything that you guys have given me here on YouTube, between everything that everyone's ever given me on Twitch, that you would do the exact same thing for me that I would be asking for you to do for them, and you absolutely did. And I wanted to thank you for that. Um, I know some of you dudes on YouTube don't actually keep up with this up on Twitch a lot, which is why I wanted to let you know that there is, between any of the negativity you might hear between the fighting game community and what the community does or any of that bad stuff, there are truly extremely good people at the heart of it. People just did it based on hearing his situation and that's why I did what I wanted to do, which was hold a small charity stream for him. So I just wanted to get some awareness out there. If you guys know of Rotendo, which is his name online, if you've run into him a few times, that that is indeed Rodolfo. And uh, I, I very much appreciate any of you guys actually doing something about this because it's pretty amazing that he can get this amount of support from people that he might not have even ever met before. But just the common bond that we have, which is fighting games and the passion for games like Killer Instinct or Street Fighter or whatever, it doesn't matter, can be carried over between all of us. It's this collective energy that I find is absolutely incredible. And a few days ago, we had a perfect example of it. So, I wanted to thank you guys very much for everything you've done for me, as well as everything you do for everyone else out of pure generosity. It is amazing of you that we were able to collectively raise up to $11,000 in one night, over $11,000 in one night for this guy and his family. And I feel that in this situation, like the ones we made before, we made a difference. And that's, that's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. It was the best birthday gift knowing that we did that for somebody. The goal has been met, but if you guys want to do anything, the GoFundMe page is down below in the link in the description. And uh, you can still donate if you want to, because it's, it's crazy to think what he's going through right now. And he has sent me a few messages being extremely thankful for what we've done. And um, that's awesome. Anyway, I don't want to get all sappy and gushy. It's just a really unique thing that happened within this community that does happen more often than you might think. And the fact that we were able to do this in such a short period of time is amazing simply because of you, the people that are watching, the people that donate, and the people that are considerate of others. You guys are awesome. And I will never, ever take for granted your generosity, your viewership, and everything that comes with it. Thank you dudes very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.